I found by top, some of my Topsy and Tim books and I thought I might start reading them to you. This one is Topsy and Tim on the new bike. You can watch Topsy and Tim, by the way, if you search for it on YouTube as well. When Topsy and Tim came down on the first morning of the summer holidays, they saw two gleaming new bikes standing in the kitchen. Are they really for us? asked Topsy. Yes, said Dad. We can't go away on holiday this summer, so we'll have lots of fun and time for you to learn how to ride them. Topsy tried to climb on her bike, but the saddle was too high and her feet didn't touch the ground. Oh dear, said Tim, Topsy's bike's too big for her. Mum found a spanner and lowered Topsy's saddle and now her toes safely touch the ground. Mummy checked Tim's bike too. I wonder who might be learning to ride their bike at the moment. The new bikes had stabiliser wheels on them, so Topsy and Tim were able to ride them around the garden. Jinder watched them over the fence. I like your new bike, she said. Can you ride them without stabilisers? Not yet, said Tim, but we're going to learn. Who can ride their bike without stabilisers? That afternoon, Topsy and Tim asked Mummy if they could take their stabilisers off. All right, said Mummy. She took them off with a spanner. Now see if you can ride, she said. Easy peasy, said Topsy, but it wasn't. Learning how to ride to balance was quite difficult. Topsy and Tim kept falling off. I can see you're going to need the helmets I bought, said Mummy. The next day, Mummy took Topsy and Tim to the park. There's plenty of space here and no dangerous traffic, she said. Topsy and Tim saw some children riding BMX mics and doing clever stunts and one of them shouted, Hello, Topsy and Tim, I like your new bikes. It was Josie Miller. I'm going to do stunts on my bike, said Topsy. I'm going to do wheelies and bunny hops, said Tim. You'll have to learn to ride your bikes first, said Mummy. I'm ready, said Tim, and he got on his bike, held onto his saddle. Mummy held onto his saddle and pushed him along. Pedal, Tim, she said, and after a few minutes, she let go of the saddle. Wobble, 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 went Tim. Keep going, puffed Mummy. Tim kept going faster and faster. Use your brake to slow down, cried Mummy. Tim tried to use his brake, but he lost his balance and fell off. Luckily, he was wearing his helmet, so he wasn't hurt. My turn, called Topsy. Mummy started Topsy off and then she let go. Oh, went Topsy, don't let go. You're doing fine, said Mummy. Keep it up. Topsy and Tim were practising and at last Topsy could start by herself and Tim could stop without falling off. Well done, said Mummy. I think it's time for a rest now. Let's go home and get something to eat. They rode back through the park. When they reached the park gates, Mummy told them to get off their bikes and push them along the pavement. It's dangerous for you to ride your bikes near a road, she said. They were nearly home when a voice called out, Hello, twins! It was Louie Lewis's big sister, Carol, on her bike. Carol was wearing a helmet and a brightly coloured band. What's that band for? asked Topsy. It's a safety sash, exclaimed Carol, so that car drivers can see me easily. Shall we wear safety sashes, asked T Topsy. Not yet, said Carol. You're too young to ride on the road. Carol had to pass a cycle proficiency test at school before she was allowed to ride on the road, said Mummy. I wonder if any of your brothers and sisters have done that. I know I did when I was at school. Guess what, Dad, said Tim that evening. We learnt to ride our new bikes. And there's a picture of Topsy and Tim doing all sorts of other things that they like doing. I'll try to find some of the other books and read those to you as well.